In Excel, it's best if you can avoid merging cells. In this example, we've got a little table and we're going to try and center the headings for each quarter over the three months in that quarter. So you might be tempted to just select the three cells and merge them and that will solve the problem. But merged cells can make it harder to sort or filter the data later. So we're going to center them without merging. And I'll show you a couple of other little tricks for finishing up this table as well. So this cell, I've typed the heading quarter one and then quarter two in column E. I want it centered over these three columns, so I'm going to select those three cells and then go to the alignment group on the home tab and click this alignment settings button. In the format cells window, I'm on the alignment tab and under horizontal, I'm going to click the arrow and select center across selection then click OK. So it looks like those cells are merged. We can see that we can click on each cell individually. If I click where it looks like it says quarter one, there's nothing in the formula bar. That text is really in cell B3. I can also make this look a bit nicer if I put an outside border. So up on the home tab again, I'll go to the borders and click outside border. And once I have that set up, I can select those three cells. On the Home tab, click the Format Painter, and then click the Quarter 2 cell, and that automatically puts the same formatting, the border and the center across selection, onto those columns. And one last thing I'll do here to finish up this table, I want to get my totals. So I'm going to select all the cells with the numbers, and go out a bit further to select all the blank cells where I want the totals. And then on the ribbon, I'll click the Auto Sum button, and that puts in the totals across and down for all the cells. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.